Simon, still unbeaten? Yeah, obviously uh, we'd like to have won the game, uh, but we're up against a strong, good team when they've got people like Marco as they signed in the summer, strength in depth that they've got throughout the squad. It was going to be a benchmark today, as I said previously, to, uh, to where we've come from. Uh, from, for, as a club and as a group of players and um, I think a fair result was probably um, the outcome for both teams. Much better second half showing, what on earth did you say to him at half time? Well, I thought first 10-15 minutes I thought we played quite well, we got off to a real strong start, we limited them to few opportunities, we, we got them on the front foot uh, but we were just from then on, well, that 30 minute period we were a bit sloppy, we were too complacent possibly, we were too slow in possession, too slow in stopping the opposition just said we needed to increase the tempo and get on the front foot because if you get on the front foot here at Wingfield Road then the crowd is certainly going to get with you and stay with you and the crowd again were fantastic today and uh, we, we did, we looked a dominant team that second half but also you still got to be careful of uh, the counter, counter attack from them which nearly happened to them a couple of times and fortunately Jack Carnick made a good save at one stage. And he went behind to, I'm sure Curtis will put his hand up, a big mistake. He fell over the ball almost, but they're rare events, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Look, defenders make mistakes, and when they make mistakes, they probably get punished and highlighted more. Um, but um, there was probably one or two players today that probably made more mistakes in that first half than they've probably done for large parts of the season so far. So I accept that as long as they're trying to do the right things, trying to rectify things, um, then I haven't got any complaints with that. But again, we've showed some good character again today, coming from behind to, to get something out of the game. And your big man's done it again, that's five in seven, I think. Yeah, look, he's getting in the right places at the right time, and um, so it's nice for him to score the goals, but I've got to give credit to Fiends again, great ball from that right-hand side. We probably didn't get enough of possession for him first half to get it out wide and, and put them sort of um, balls and deliver into the box like we did second half. So, uh, yeah, it's something uh, for, for all, us as a team to work on, but ultimately it's nice for the strikers to get goals.